I think that's what heaven looks like and tastes like. My little chamber. What's up guys, Avery Faylash here. If you're new, I'm a college golfer, gym rat, running rat, ping pong, intermediate skill level. We got another little day in the life action coming up. This time we're on a weekend. It is a Sunday, it is March 20, March 28th. Pretty chill day, we don't have any team practice. It's kind of all on your own, which is honestly a rarity in college golf. I mean, most weekends we're either traveling to a tournament or qualifying for a tournament. I do have another day in the life video showing you the average normal weekday. But just to recap the past week, Monday I was up at 4.45 in the morning. We had a 36 hole tournament. Tuesday was my birthday and I was up at 4 a.m. training chest. And then we had to finish the 18 hole tournament because it's 54 holes. Wednesday through Saturday, I was up before 6.45 a.m. Um, that's earlier than most guys. Um, of course, I have to get my workout in, so I plan that around our golf events and golf like meetings and stuff like that. And I like to have time in the morning, so I'm up earlier than most guys, have a lot on my plate to get done. And then today is actually off. No events scheduled, nothing going on, just purely on your own, so taking advantage of it. Slept in a little bit, slept in till 7.45, that's as long as I could go. Most weekends, um, I always try to have a big, I save my big run day for either the Saturday or Sunday. Today it fell on a Sunday, so I think I'm gonna run nine outside today. Pretty good weather, so take advantage of it. Sunday's kind of a big catch-up day on homework, get some homework done. Of course, we'll do some sort of golfing activity. All right, guys, getting loosened up here. Uh, great weather for nine miles. What's daunting, the mental challenge of running is that right as my feet leave the concrete to start, they won't stop moving until I'm done. So this will be tough, but nothing beats that feeling when you're done with your run and I'm gonna be drinking my bang with my shirt off, feeling like a champion. Ah, we just gotta go do it. Here we go. Here we go. Halfway there. Four and a half miles down. I'm four and a half miles away from home. What am I gonna do? Quit? I gotta get home now. This is the mental challenge of running. I can't just hit the stop button. I can't just put the weight down. I gotta keep going. Just you, yourself, the open road. The road's always open, baby. Almost there. Almost there. I see the finish line. I see it. Dig. Dig, dig, come on, come on. Gah. I wonder how many college golfers are out running nine miles right now. Not too many. Now for the best part. Got my bang, this is what I was looking forward to. That's what pushed me through those nine miles. Get out and run, not too many people. Feel the feeling I have right now, the sense of accomplishment. You're a champion. That's why it's all worth it. Oh God, that is so good. My man hooked it up on the eggs. Pretty much what I have every day. I literally tell them to fill up this entire to-go box with eggs. Got some potatoes on there, so I'm dying after that run. Sitting here at the dinner table. Kind of my spot here in the uh, LCSC Student Union. First bite, best bite? Let's see here. Hits a spot. A little baseball game action. Guys, I actually used to play baseball. I'm not sure if any of you knew that. Played football and baseball up until freshman year, so we have a pretty damn good baseball team, so just checking it out. I'll turn the WGC on for you guys. Don't skip on the foam rolling, guys. Especially after running uh, something I do every single day, no matter what I trained. Especially after running. Flush out the lactic acid. I mean, this thing, it's like a medieval torture. It hurts so good. <laughs> do this, shower up, <sighs> watch golf, eat more, homework more, golf more. 
Just a day in the life. It's lunchtime, um, all freshened up from the shower. Thankfully, there was no poop in the dorm shower. Uh, true story, someone took a poop in the dorm shower. It's all cleaned up, thankfully. No tards today, no shards today. Tards, shards, no shards. We're good, we're all clean. Uh, it's bagel time, lunchtime, very, very hungry. Um, peanut butter bagels going down today. Um, and guess what? We don't have to eat these crappy store-bought blueberry. These are basically bread, guys. It says bagels, but it's basically bread in circle form with a hole in the middle. We have the good stuff, okay? My parents came up, they saved me from jail for a little bit and they brought the good stuff. They brought the good bagels. Check this one out. I've only, I've got a limited supply left, so got a couple bags here. I did have the cinnamon sugars, um, which are super good, but got some Parmesans in there. Look at these suckers. They're big, earthy. Uh, we got one more bag. And we got some cranberry oranges and some cinnamon raisins. So we're gonna devour three of these and uh, see what else comes up. Oh yeah. Let's go, Joel! Joel Damon's actually from Clarkson, Washington, which is literally across the street from Lewiston, so. Pulling for him to get this done in the DR. Let's see what he can do here on 15. I really should be doing my psychology test, but, uh, you know, we got to see Joel pull it out. All right, baby! Well, that didn't go good. <laughs> Local boy got it done. Joel with the win. Congrats, man. I don't know you. You don't know me. You don't know I exist, but I feel a sense of connection with you. Considering I am playing the golf courses you grew up playing, so it's time for me to go golf. Let's go. Gusts are expected. Uh, might be in the middle of a hurricane, but still got to get some wedge work in. Let go. Which way do you guys think the wind's going? Let's test it. That way. They weren't lying when they said 60 mile an hour gusts because. Holy moly, I was putting my shoes on, tried to get done in, an, in a nick of time, and I see an avalanche of just pure, of pure rocks and gravel from the parking lot come at me. My door's open, all these rocks come in my car. You can still kind of see some of the crap that came in here. Oh my gosh. Anyways, pretty productive uh, session with what I could do, pretty limited time. Pretty tired after the run, but some putting, gate technique work, did some up and downs, hit some limited wedges in the wind, and uh, try to get out of the storm, try to drive through the storm, and get some dinner. Back at the dinner table, with my dinner date, again, the roommate. God, what's, what's he munching on over here? Burger? Lasagna. That was lasagna? I've got this weird, I don't know, chicken uh, salad, grilled chicken sandwiches. I mean, for the sub, it'll work, I guess. I want a wall of Diet Pepsi's. Let's go play some ping pong, baby. Best time of the day, baby. It's that ping pong time. Me and Jacob, we've been getting into the ping pong. Uh, we upgraded, bought some paddles. Uh, check this out. Had to put my name on it. Uh, had a little boo-boo. I did hump the table with the paddle, I'll admit it. And uh, let's get warmed up. Let's, we got a couple games. We got, I think me and Jacob are about 25 games deep in our tournament right now. I need to come back, so gotta get warmed up. Do some pancake flips here. Oh yeah. You think I came here to play college golf? Wrong. <laughs> I came here to play ping pong. <laughs> yeah. Do it! 
walking back to the old dorm. I took the L. Only thing I have to show is I have some Diet Pepsis. My life's a failure. Played three games, Jacob won two of them. I only won one. Time to go home and hang <laughs> myself. The hallways of hell. Housekeeping. <laughs> Yo, what's up, MTV? Welcome to our cribs, room 303. This is pretty much it. Yeah, just uh, a bed. And uh, yeah, that's it. See you next time. <laughs> well, just sitting here, I guess, being a student athlete. Uh, yeah, doing some English homework. It is a weekend, and I'm doing homework. Not what you'd expect. I'm not out drinking, uh, doing any illegal drugs, uh, not engaging in any funny business, you could say. And I don't like doing that stuff for the most part, but uh, you know, even if I did want to, you really don't have time as a college athlete, especially with golf. I mean, we have stuff every day. So yeah, a lot of times just sitting at night and a lot of times I am dead tired at the end of the night anyways. So. I have no energy. I mean, I'm up at six in the morning, ran nine miles today. You expect me to go out and stay up till midnight? So sitting here, winding down, doing some homework, probably eat some cereal and uh, hit the hay. Quite the combo we got. We got chocolate cocoa crispies, apple jacks, and some corn flakes, baby. Back where the day begun, in the, uh, in the lair. Next up, guys, I, uh, it sounds kind of crazy, but I'll walk around the halls of my dorm. Um, I'll kind of reflect on the day, plan the next day ahead, and uh, just get some more steps in. It's gonna about do it for me, guys. It's about 9.15. Um, just gonna get a little recovery work in with my massage gun, code every 20, 20% off, save some money, um, stretch out a little bit, try to fall asleep by about 10 probably be up at about before six definitely tomorrow busy week tomorrow tomorrow's monday uh, more tournaments coming up back in the cycle of things um nice productive sunday hope you guys enjoyed i like filming these these are pretty fun um hopefully you learned something gain some insight i like comment subscribe do all that good stuff hit some bombs hit them far train hard uh i'm gonna hit the hay peace out Beep.